Inside the Dark Abyss, unveiling Russia's most feared prison, the place where the echoes of darkness rebound through the impassable walls. What you are about to witness is the core of a prison that will strike dread into the minds of even the most hardened criminals. So join us as we reveal the scary secrets of Russia's most infamous prison, known as the Black Dolphin. The Black Dolphin prison in Russia is widely regarded as one of the most famous and feared correctional facilities in the world. This maximum security jail in a distant region has established a reputation as Russia's harshest prison, with no prisoner escaping alive in nearly 300 years. The Black Dolphin Jail dates back to its opening in 2000. It was constructed to replace an existing Soviet-era prison that was notorious for its terrible facilities and overcrowding. The major goal of Black Dolphins is to house Russia's most dangerous and violent criminals, including those who have committed crimes. The prison's location in the country's south, near the border with Kazakhstan, provides strategic advantages. The distant and isolated location, along with extreme weather conditions, allows authorities to retain tight control over the facility and prevent escapes or security breaches. Furthermore, being close to Kazakhstan's border aids in monitoring and disrupting organized crime syndicates and drug traffickers' illicit activities. Step into the world of the Black Dolphin, a stronghold where the most evil souls have lived since 1745. After the crushing loss of Pugachev's rebellion in 1773, the walls of confinement went through a big change. It used to be a lonely place where people were sent to work for the rest of their lives. Its function changed and it became a safe place for brigands who had been sent away. The conditions at Black Dolphin are really harsh. Inmates are constantly monitored and their cells have three sets of steel doors. They are confined to cramped cells sharing a 150 square foot space with another inmate. Within the prison, movement is strictly controlled, with prisoners accompanied by guards and dogs whenever they leave their cells. During mobility, convicts are kept bent at the waist, blinded and cuffed, maintaining maximum control and preventing familiarity with the prison architecture. Because the prison lacks a typical yard, convicts are only permitted to exercise in a barren concrete exercise yard while their cells undergo inspection for drugs. Inside the tight walls of Black Dolphin, Russia's worst criminals live together. There are child molesters, murderers, terrorists, cannibals and serial killers among the people in this group. Every prisoner, without exception, has a punishment that lasts for life. On the fateful day of November 1st, 2000, the first people moved into the jail. Imagine how boring it must be for these people to be locked up in their tiny cells, which look like castles that are protected by three solid steel doors. They get a small taste of freedom for just 90 minutes a day, but they have to stretch and work in a large cage. During this short break, the never-ending search for illegal goods and artifacts takes place, going into their private spaces. The constant watchful eyes and careful guidance are a constant presence in their lives. They never get a break for a moment of peace, from the time they wake up until the time they fall asleep, which is about 16 hours, they don't get to rest. The bunks are just things to look at since prisoners have to stay standing or moving. Every 15 minutes, when guards go on their walks, they check to see if they are following the rules. This keeps order in the realm of Black Dolphin. Food comes in the form of soup, which is a poor meal that is served four times a day. Few things that have been bold stirred by books, newspapers and radio, which give them a tiny bit of contact with the outside world. When inmates arrive, they are thrown into darkness and their eyes are covered with blindfolds. This cuts them off from the outside world and makes it impossible for them to escape or plan. Even when they move from one building to another, they can't see much because darkness covers them. In these harsh hallways, guards make prisoners bend at their waist and raise their bound hands over their backs as part of a unique way to move them. This scary move gives the staff full control over the prisoners while making them unaware of the immediate surroundings. This makes it impossible for them to escape or hurt the watchful staff. Let's see what life is like inside this jail through the eyes of one of the inmates. Nikolai Astankov is a prisoner who can't get over the terrible acts that sent him to Black Dolphin. Astankov was sentenced to life in prison for brutally killing an entire family and leaving their burned bodies to rot in the middle of a forest. He has found comfort in avoiding the pain of thinking about his terrible situation. Astankov said with a whisper of sadness, thinking constantly about our situation, our constant confinement, the lack of freedom and the overwhelming loneliness will only break us. 
Every day at 6am, Aston Cove and his cellmate are jolted awake by the cruel routine of Black Dolphin, which shatters their thoughts in an instant. For the next 16 hours, their tired bodies are not allowed to rest on their beds and they are forced to keep moving. Aston Cove said, There is no break from the ever watchful eye. His words carry the weight of being watched all the time. Our cells are under constant scrutiny. Light and motion monitors keep track of where we go and what we do. Also, every 15 minutes, a guard walks through the maze-like hallways asking if that we stay alert. Vladimir Nikolaev is one of the scary people who live in this nightmare world. His name is infamous in the world of Russian killers. Nikolaev's sad, violent and cannibalistic story unfolds in front of us like a grotesque scene. Nikolaev talks about the fatal meeting that led to the destruction of a fellow human being in a scary video interview. What choice did I have? He asked himself with a disturbing lack of care in his voice. I pulled him to my bathroom where he was dead. I started a macabre dance of dissection when I took off all of his clothes, Nikolaev said, his words chilling with a strange lack of emotion. I cut off his heads and limbs one by one until I had controllable urge to kill him. I ate some of his flesh because I was curious, he said, and his voice had a disturbing lack of concern. I took a piece of his leg and boiled it, looking for food in his gruesome feast. But the taste wasn't good enough, so I chopped it up more and fried it in a pan, Nikolaev said, his voice sounding disturbingly matter-of-fact. I gave a friend a piece of this disgusting meal, which he accidentally took home and gave to his wife. She didn't know the horrible truth, so she turned it into dumplings and fed them to her children who didn't know what was going on. Nikolaev said with a hint of evil glee, I said it was a kangaroo meat, which is an exotic delicacy that we don't have here. They had no idea how horrible the truth was that they were eating. The presence of these dangerous and violent criminals contributes to the prison's terrible reputation. The seriousness of their offences, as well as the extent to which officials go to maintain control over them, increase the prison's renown both within Russia and worldwide. The public and media frequently perceive Black Dolphin Prison as a place where the most dangerous criminals are housed, and its reputation adds to the deference against criminal activity. The treatment of convicts in Black Dolphin Prison has been heavily criticised. According to reports, there is a widespread violence within the institution, including daily torture by electrical shocks and beatings. Official prison service reports admit a high frequency of deaths in custody, which have been attributed to both natural causes and violent contact with guards. Cases such as the unfathomable death of detainee Roman Sarachev, who died within hours of arriving at the prison, have typified the guards' harsh behavior. Concerns regarding human rights violations within the facility have been raised following allegations of abuse, torture and misconduct by prison personnel. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, keep watching.